Yes. Anyway, what better way to brighten up your day than lunch date with the loose women and the fabulous Zoe Tyler? I was born a liar, mate. Couldn't go to bed unless I toned George Michael's <laughs> Zoe, does this make me look old? Because she'll just tell me the truth. You don't stay young forever, do you, Den? I'm absolutely off my face. That's why I'm in bed at 9 o'clock these days. No, you're not, you big liar. You're so not. I was having a nap. You were not having a nap. I... It was a nightmare for everybody else, I think, more than myself. <laughs> I taught myself to kiss. I had an absolutely fantastic time. You taught yourself to kiss? Was that on the back of your hand? It was on a doorpost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, worse? <laughs> there's no secrets left in my life, Ruth. None. No, as you know, when you come on occasionally... Well, you know, the dangerous thing about that programme is that you start forgetting you're actually on you the TV. And I know. it literally is like sitting with your girlfriends I know. and having a good old chat. Well, you know, and the that's why I, I don't like him. you going on that I know he doesn't like I'm, it, I'm do thinking you? of Bat. My mother doesn't like her on that programme <laughs> and I don't like you so on I that programme. I say program. far too much <laughs> about him. But you can't, you just, you, you can't help it. It's what like... I would do is I'd give you all a drink as well. I'd put out a bottle oh of wine out there. With Can drink. you imagine? That would be even better. That would be an everyday How long have you been on the panel now, then? I've been on Loose Women for two and a half years, actually. I, when, I, when I finished Joseph, I went on as a guest to talk about the boys and how the show was going. And they were looking for, uh, for some new presenters then. So I went back in again and, and did this screen test thinking, I'm never going to get this. I love Loose Women, you know, although I am a bit gobby and thought it would be good for me. <laughs> and, um, and then, got it, yeah, like two and a half years ago, although it still feels like you're the new yeah. girl, really. But, but then I in love two it. and a half years, people know everything about your life. Everything. Now, don't they? I know. And my poor little Jakey, who I talk about all the time, gets a bit cross, I have yeah. to say, when people come up to him and say, oh, You're Jakey, aren't you? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really get it. But no, it is fun. I love it. The girls are great. Yeah. You know. Well, the reason we were talking uh, about uh, how do you solve a problem like Maria mm. was it was because of that, and you were the voice coach on that, that shocked you to prominence. Which Connie Fisher, who is from Northern Ireland, my <laughs> producer and I, tells me, having gone on the internet oh, I hate indeed, it when you're right. Because he's right. Well, I hate it when he's right. I think you'll usually find that. She was born the there, case. but she was brought up in Dorset. Oh, so that makes her Chinese then, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great logic, that is. Well, I'm uh, just saying she didn't live there all her life. The thing is, so, so very interesting life that you have led, not just a TV presenter, whatever, and, and not just a singer, but a voice coach. Yeah. And who would you have coached, or at what level have you coached, and why would you coach over the years? Well, it's, I started coaching when I was in the West End myself. I did 15 years in the West End, and was lucky to have... I was, I was taught originally in Birmingham by an opera singer, um, and then uh, in Les Miserables, there were a couple of people who said, how did you hit those notes, you know? So I went away and learned more about the voice, and that's how it happened, really. So um, it was it was all very bizarre for how do you solve a problem like Maria was just about to happen. And I think Denise Van Aten was originally asked to be on the panel, and she couldn't do it. So um, David Ian, who was on the panel as well, who's a friend of mine who's actually producing um, a show that I'm doing at the moment, and um, he, he said to Andrew, look, you know, I know Zoe, and uh, she's mm. a she's a voice coach, and then they ended up on the panel. It yeah, was all I a bit mad, really. All that. La, 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 la. I can understand that, but yeah, you've got a cold today, haven't you? I have, sing yes. on a cold. Yeah. But of what use are you to pop stars? And I know sometimes you're reluctant to name pop, but we're well, talking. Well, you are. She's on, very on, discreet. Tell us some. You? Tell us well, some. Well, Jerry people. Halliwell. I took. When, when, but no when pop stars. Tell us about pop stars. Stop it now. All right. Well, who else? Now stop it. She worked so hard. I tell you something. That girl worked so hard. We were determined determined that she was going to sing everything live, you know, when the okay. girls did their um, regroup mm. last year or the year before. And, um, and so for me to actually, you know, s sit there in the audience and hear these big live, it's all about live. I can't bear it when nobody sings live. Let's talk about you. We don't want to talk about all of them. Let's okay. talk about you because you're singing live. People don't often get I'm... to hear you sing because you're so busy coaching everybody yeah. else or doing loose women. So you're going on tour now. Well, David Ian, who I've just uh, is producing a tour, we got together and he said, "Why don't we do a one-night special where I can show show people what I do?" So Maybe that's not what he had in mind. Oh, but you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's anyway, watching this. <laughs> right above it, Zoe. That's and what anyway, and it's not like I'm not used to it, is it? <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to be doing all Streisand, Eva Cassidy, all the songs that are for musicals. I'm sitting and playing the piano. Um, 
showing people what I do yeah. really, what my strength is, and going back to Birmingham at the Alex. Yes, who starts in your girl. hometown. Is that, is that lovely or does that make you nervous? It makes me a little bit nervous. I don't yeah. get to go home a lot, but my family and all my friends are still there. And so I just thought, well, it's got to be the Alexander Theatre. Yeah. I did a show there when I was a year dot. So to go back is, is brilliant for me. So um, it's on June the 27th. So and not I long. heard you. This, I was in makeup and I heard wafting through the air conditioning.